Twilight, I'm bored. Aren't we supposed to be outside learning about friendship or the magic of arse kissing or something? Spike, have you ever read about a sociological model that's not grounded in complete crap? All I ever hear about the social sciences are disparaging comments from you. Well, the social sciences are nearly impossible to test empirically, and my little case studies are the furthest thing from scientific. So the best thing I can learn is the magic of drinking with Applejack on the weekends, but only specifically with Applejack, and those lessons don't generalize over to other poems unless the lesson is insanely vague. And sometimes not even then. Fine. Justify it however you want, but if we keep staying indoors all day, we're gonna get Ricketts disease from the lack of sunlight. Hey, speaking of disease, I feel like you've been looking a little bit... misshapen? Lately? Well, that's funny, because lately you've been looking like a real... Ugh. Ugh. Excuse me. I was gonna say you're a bitch. Uh, yeah. What's the letter say? So, alright, I got this chicken blood y'all wanted. Mrs. Cluckerbottom was on her way to Doggy Kibble, but Granny says she wants y'all to pay us back for the other three we had to butcher. Pay her back? I've been ordered to save the town from a dragon. That includes Sweet Apple Acres. She ought to be paying me. I know that, but that ain't how she figures. She thinks, since y'all live here, you'd probably save the town one way or the other just to cover your own butt. And since you're living on a stop hand from the government, she don't give a hoot. Y'all asked for chicken blood, so y'all gotta pay for chicken blood. Yeah? Well, next time the town is in danger, I'll come up with a plan that saves everything but the farm. I hate to break this to you, darling, but Granny has no fear of death, and she already views y'all as a product of drunk, irresponsible, political nepotism. If y'all destroy the farm in purposeful ignorance, she'll only feel vindicated. Well, I could donate money to a pride parade or something. Well, she's pretty traditional, so that might get her goat, along with a couple other folks I know. But seriously though, do not battle Granny. You may win at the end, but she will make it a Pyrrhic victory. I found the other guys! Alright, great. That means we've got the elements of noisy, stupid, prissy, whatever I represent, and Applejack. That ought to be all we need to get rid of this dragon. What do you need the element of Applejack for? Uh, darling, you're missing an element. No, we're not. This is everybody. Element of kindness, Sugar Cube? Is that you? Are you leaving? Don't walk out on this. No, the element of kindness, dear. You know, yellow gal, pink hair, mumbles a lot and stares at her hooves. Dash? Does she look yellow? Are you colorblind? No, she just has a lot of colors and sometimes she goes by really fast, so I took a guess. She is as blue as a berry and she's right over there. Guess again. It, it's fine, AJ. Okay, guys, here's what's going on. There's a dragon in that cave in the mountains and it's gonna go to sleep for a thousand years. The soot from its breath is going to cause environmental damage and possibly hurt crops, which has filthy rich upset, so we're being used to deal with it. Oh, cool. Are we going to adventure to the top of the mountain and then negotiate with the dragon? Yeah. Then we're going to eat a bottle of painkillers and throw ourselves off a cliff. Why the hell would we do that? Twilight, can we please cut through your usual sarcasm? Why the hell would we try to negotiate with a fire-breathing dragon? If we had anything to offer it, it would just set us on fire and take whatever that thing was. Twilight, I have three orders to fill this month, and I don't have time to go mountain climbing. Good. We're on the same page then, because I don't have time for that either. So here's what we're gonna do. Each of you stand on a point in this star that I've drawn here in Chicken Blood. Twat, I'm starting to get a little apprehensive. What are we doing exactly? You are shutting up and standing there. This should not be the hardest part. Now here, I've got a script for you guys. I'll say the stuff in red, then you guys say the stuff in blue. Okay? Oh my, this is a slightly more advanced kind of magic than what I learned in school. Yes, that's because I didn't go to school. I was personally educated by God. Now shut up and read what it says in order. We have to do this ritual. Hey. What? Look, come up here. Why? Why? Yes. I said come up here. Why, Why don't, don't you come, come down, down, down here? here? Yes. Don't give me that. You come up here. What, what do you want? want? Come up here. I'm, I'm busy. busy. Yes. Do not make me ask you again. Fine. What do you want? Destroy Ponyville, yes! No, no, there's a dragon in a cave in that mountain. What I want you to do is go up, take this plastic garbage bag, and slide it over the dragon's head. What are you looking at? The dragon should be asleep, and the bag is enchanted to be fire resistant. I could destroy an army with the flick of my fingers, and you drag me from my soaps in the very bowels of hell, so I may be reduced to smothering a mortal creature with a plastic bag? Well, I certainly didn't summon you to whine. Okay, I thought of the garbage bag thing first, but then I had this idea, and I wasn't ready to let go of the old plan, so I combined them into one. If the bag doesn't work, just improvise. When the dragon is dead, go back to hell.